Oh, good day, Tim. Uh, just, uh, I guess, your thoughts on how you guys are placed and how you went today just after day, day two? Yeah, I think it's uh, reasonably evenly poised. I think um, that we've seen if guys can get in and, and they can go big, um, but we've also seen that there is, uh, there is a little bit there for the bowlers, a little bit of uh, up and down um, with the ball and also just a little bit off the straights. So, um, yeah, I think it's shaping up for, for what should be a great day three. You've uh, out to bowl first. I mean, you touched on it just before, but I mean, your thoughts early on, uh, just on the pitch, uh, the Duke's ball and everything like that for you, having your first sort of proper um, bowl out there in the middle? Um, yeah, I think any time you come, especially the Lords, it's a special time and, and uh, it's nice to get out there. Um, there's a little bit of swing early on and, um, and I think we, we bowl pretty well to get those days too, but it's early on, but we've got two. Two guys now that are, that are set, um, which is, uh, yeah, and, and a slightly older ball. So we know that we're going to have to have to go about our business and and, uh, and try and create some pressure over, over long periods of time. Um, and, but that's what test cricket is about. It's not easy. It's tough work. And, um, and it, as I said, it's shaping up to be a, be a tough, but it should be a good three days to go. Yeah, and just on those two wickets, I mean, how important was the, were those to get, um, I guess, at, at, towards the end of the day? Yeah, it's nice. You always want you always want more. Um, but like I said, we've got two quality batters in at the crease at the moment, um, who, have, who have spent some time in the middle. Um, so yeah, it's about uh, about turn up tomorrow um, and, uh, and and starting off the day. And and uh, I guess uh, we're creating that pressure. And just finally, uh, a word on Devon, uh, two hundred runs. I mean, uh, yeah, just just a word on that. And, and I guess how happy the team was, and, and to see him um, go one better today. Yeah, it's an incredible innings. I think Devon's been he's been around our first class scene for a, for a long time. He's banged out runs domestically for a, for a number of years. He's come in to the international scene. He's already got a T twenty ninety nine not out, a one day hundred, and now a Test double hundred on debut. He's um, he's a special player. Um, we've known that for for a little while now. Um, bowling to him in the nets, he works hard, works extremely hard. He's he's always willing to learn, um, tap into the uh, the batters on our side and. And continue to ask questions. He's a he's a keen learner, um, and everyone's just extremely proud and, and pleased for him. As I'm sure his his family and, and friends back home as well are, are over the moon for what has been such a, a dream dream couple of days for him. Hundred percent. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Go well. Thank you. Uh, Tim Barry, guy from RNZ Sport in uh, in Wellington. We've, with uh, Devin Conway, we, um, he's done so much now and there's almost like an air of expectation. Can you sort of respond in some way as, as what he's done when that expectation perhaps is on his shoulders? Well, I think the first thing, he's a, he's a pretty calm guy as a, as a person, so I think that's, that'll hold him in good stead. And we've seen what he's been able to do domestically. He knows his game. He's 29 years old. He's played a lot of cricket. Um, he's come in and he's just he's just taken international cricket in his stride. Um, you look at the likes that like him and, and Kyle Jamison as well, who came in and had an incredible year um, after playing a, a bit of first class cricket. But the two guys that are that are always asking questions, are always wanting to learn, they're always wanting to, to pick someone's brain, they're always wanting to, to get better. So I think that uh, that mentality and along with their work ethic will, will hold them in good stead. And having had a bowl now, can you sort of just tell us? Um, Perhaps the middle and lower order of the Black Caps lineup were unable to support us. You know, the scoreboard looks a little bit disappointing in that second half. Um, yeah, I think the the tower were able to contribute some partnerships towards the end there to get us up to to a pretty good score. Um, but I think it also shows you that if you do break partnerships, that it's not easy to start. We've got two guys that are in at the moment, when in Root and Burns, but. We know if we can take wickets, then it's not as we saw with our with our batters. It's not that easy to go out and start. So um, that'll be that'll be in the minds of of, uh, of the guys coming in, and also us as bowlers, knowing that if we can keep chipping away at wickets, it's not a not an easy wicket to start on. So where is the balance of the game? Do you think after two days, and and is is the wicket changing? Um, I think it's 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 pretty evenly balanced. As, as I touched on, I've got two guys that are in, so it's shaping up for a. A pretty good morning session tomorrow, um, and uh, and I guess whoever can win that that morning session tomorrow will we'll set up for 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 what's an important day three. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Might be up.
Oh, Tim Barry Guy here again. Seems no one's asking the question. Are you getting much support over there? Uh, from the crowd? Yeah. Yeah, uh, there seems to be, obviously, we're, we're limited in the number of, of spectators allowed at the ground, but um, as the day went on, there was a few few, uh, few more Kiwi voices coming out, and there's a few few Kiwis chanting. Yeah, it's, it's nice to see some Kiwi shirts in the, in the crowd. So, um, yeah, there is a, there is a bit there, and, and hopefully there's, there's a few more over the next coming, over the coming days. I also saw, I think someone's put the temporary um, sticker up for Devon on the honours board. Have you seen that? Yeah. Who's a, a brilliant uh, dressing room attendant who is obviously not here with, with, with uh, different rules around COVID. It's something that he... He usually does whenever someone gets on the honours board. There's there's always tape that goes up there. It's something that the the room attendant does at, at most grounds. Um, tries to tries to get up there as quick as possible. So for Devon to come off last night and, and see his name up there was was uh, I'm sure pretty special. Although it's only in in uh, in tape at the moment, um, but I'm sure once it's uh, uh, up on there permanently, it'll be uh, even more special. Cheers again. Thank you. Hi, uh, Tim. Mark Getty here. Just a, just one quick one to finish. Um, talking about bowling to Devon in the nets, um, can you give some insight into what sets him apart for you? Or is there anything in particular that strikes when you bowl to him that, that probably the England bowlers may have found tough as well when they bowled? I think just his discipline and his, his hunger to bat long periods of time. We saw it, um, we've seen it in, in all his games. He just loves loves betting um and yeah he's just he, he he can hit in funny areas um but he can also play some some incredible shots as well we saw saw at times um some some incredibly sort of flare shots um the one to bring up his his hundred was was the odd leg flick up um but yeah he's just a guy that will just just wear you down wait for you to to make a mistake and, and capitalize on it he's um like i said he just he just seems to love betting um and has that that mentality of I've always wanted to get better. So um, yeah, he's 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 been brilliant in and around the, the environment, um, and uh, and he obviously feels comfortable and he's been able to come in and, and show us how how good he can be at this level. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Gents. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, everyone.